At this time, I'd like to remind you that I'm not your financial advisor, and this is not financial advice. My YouTube channel is for entertainment purposes only, and to document my journey in the crypto space. I encourage you to pause the video at this time to read the full disclaimer. And now let's get on with the show. Okay, everybody, welcome back to the Crypto Wave. Um, what an interesting week in the Tron and DAP world. Um, I'll probably end up naming this video Scam of the Week or something along those lines. Um, simply because if you guys have been following along with anything in the uh, DAP space here, you kind of know uh, what's been transpiring. Um, as if anybody was in the Ethereum DAP space when that was going on, you know how this is going to play out. And we've kind of always known it. And I'm going to be honest with you, I was one of the first ones that thought I would be able to resist it, but I wasn't. Um, basically, it played out with exchange games where you buy tokens you get dividends you bring people in the more people bring in you get dividends for the tokens you hold etc 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 then it wasn't good enough people wanted that next high so the next high was a higher roi and then it was a higher roi and then it was started getting into like the you know 30 percent a day 30 percent an hour and all this kind of stuff um and sure enough same scammers i'm sure it's probably the same people who knows who they are started coming out with the same things and and like most of us, I FOMO'd into a couple of them, and, and you end up eating your words. Um, what does that mean? So let's kind of go through the list of a few of them. Some scams, in my opinion. Some just kind of got a bad rap. And then I'm going to tell you kind of what I'm still in and how I'm going to be a little bit wiser going forward. So this is Tron Pays. This is number one. Uh, I'll come back to this in a minute. So I'm sure everybody has recognized this site. This happens every time there's a site that comes down. If you look at it here, it's the the uh, the uh, Black Pearl um, site. Let's see if there's a, the other one is still operational. Yeah, so this one's still going. Um, but this one, you know, I said it before in a couple other videos, this one had just absolutely insane potential. Um, but unfortunately, it just... I don't know if it's just being run improperly. I don't know what the what the problem is. It was tried to be it tried to get resurrected by somebody else in the Tron space. Um, and upon that person looking into um, how to resurrect it, supposedly there was something wrong with the contract that these meta tokens were basically BS and you couldn't do anything with them. Like it was it had to do with the coding. I don't know exactly. I'm not a coder, but for this one basically toast. Where did that fall on my rating here? It was a 54% actually. Um, and I'll go into this a little bit more. I'm still trying to fine tune this thing. I haven't really revealed it yet just because it's still a little inconsistent. But I'll tell you the consistency that I do find in just a minute. So next one that I think, now this site is still active, Faith of Tron. Um, but and it, it's very clever. You know, this has been pretty stagnant, the, the ups and downs. I was actually in this one for a while. I've actually tapped out all my tokens. And why? Because I'm going to consolidate my losses from various places. This one, they did the, this token split here. I think it's called Baby Whales or Token Sun, one of these, um, which is basically another money grab, in my opinion. Um, I honestly, if you go into the Telegram for this one, it's basically run by bots. I mean, there's a bazillion bots in there. In fact, I was having fun with it. I would put in how many messages that I had to take, and I was trying to predict what the next emoji was going to be that would pop up, because after you do a certain amount of messages, um, the bots would kick in and start sending out these little emojis like, oh my god, it's going up, and thumbs up, and all this other BS. So this one, I pulled everything out. I think if, it's, if it hasn't scammed out yet, I would not be shocked if you guys are in this. Um, be prepared. I, I just have this feeling that it's not going to last much longer. Um, so uh, another one, uh, where is it? Oh, this one. Everybody knows this one if you if you were here. So this guy. Oh, man, 33.3% ROI. This thing was getting up to, I mean, just absolute um, millions here. Uh, I mean, if you look at it now, I think the contract got, got drained. This thing had so much, so much backing on it that it could have... It could have went just absolutely astronomical. And then, as the thirty, it's as if it wasn't shocking enough that the thirty-three percent contract wasn't big enough, and people were just making bank on it. They came out and said, "Hey, we're going to have a token, and here's the token. The token, who knows what it's going to do, but you're going to get dividends into the ROI. You're going to, I mean, it was like, it could have been absolutely epic. But um, 
what ends up happening? Greed takes over the people who created this contract. So this was down when you first came in, it was uh, 0.01, I think. The moment the timer ran out here, it jumped up to 40 Tron a token. What does that mean? That means that everybody who FOMO'd in or everybody who bought into this with the, the amount of hype that it had, it shot up like crazy, but starting at 40 TRX a token. So it, because basically it was front loaded. The developers had put in a huge amount of pre mining. This is what I think happened. I, 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 I can't prove it, but it, it pissed off the entire community. Is they put a huge pre mine into this so that the moment the timer ran out, the, the token value was, I mean, astronomically high. So this shot up from, I mean, instantly, the moment the timer ran out, this went up to like 6 million. Everybody FOMO'd in and it shot up even higher. And then what do you think happened? All these people who bought in bazillions of tokens in the pre-mine sold it when the token hit. You know, they probably bought it at one Tron a token basically because they're in the pre-mine. And now it comes up to 50. They sold it for basically a 50x profit and took it and run. Now it's still got a million in here. And everybody keeps saying, you know, some people are still going to be sticking with it. But in my opinion, that's a shady move. I would not doubt if this drains pretty dang quickly. I think there's some there, there's some Asian countries that are probably holding this up a little bit, just kind of hoping for the best. Um, and maybe it can salvage. I mean, this ja this jackpot is still available technically. Who's to say the contract's going to work appropriately? Who knows? Um, we'll see how it plays out. But uh, this is just uh, it's uh, it was just an absolute ridiculous. So, and where did that fall on here? So, if I follow my consistency, the token was only at forty one sixty seven percent. So. You know, I, I, I should have trusted it. So far, everything kind of 50% and below, with the exception of BP, 50% and below has been kind of the, the mark of not getting into it. Um, so that's that. Um, next one, um, where there was another one I'm kind of forgetting which one. There's been a bunch. I didn't get into all of them. There's been a bunch. But enough of that being said. Now we, now we kind of feel the sting. If the sting wasn't big on the ETH network, it's even bigger on the Tron because the Tron – the Tron network has all the things that the ETH network needed, which was speed and transaction and backing and community and all those amazing things. And yet here we are again in the exact same spot. Um, so what things am I in? So Black Pearl obviously gone. Faith of Tron, I catch everything out, gone. Ace Casino, I'm still in. This is actually, um, isn't this is almost on its own chain. This actually uses, and I have a previous video on another, uh, if you look at my channel, there's a video that goes into depth of, of what this is. Um, they have poker coming out soon. It's going to be uh, player versus player poker that you can use the ACE tokens for, um, as well as uh, earn Bitcoin. Uh, it also has um, different games on here. So they have a matrix for referrals and such. So uh, if you feel so inclined, click on the referral below. I'm actually in the mat I'm not in this matrix. I'm trying to save to get into this matrix right now. But, you know, click below anyways. Um, you get um, passive incomes. There's quite a few ways. So you can earn quite a few ways in this. You can earn with the matrix plans by bringing referrals in. You get passive income, which is basically if you hold the ACE token after purchasing it, you actually get dividends in the ACE tokens, which then can be used to play. Um, or it's actually uh, available to change exchange on the Saturn exchange. Um, you can invest in the casino itself, meaning you put your BTC towards the casino pot. And when you do that, you actually end up getting anywhere between 0.5 to 1% of your day until you get to 150% of your investment. And I've put into that also. Um, and then, of course, you can promote your affiliate links and things of that nature. Anybody that deposits under you get percentages and things. Um, so there is still a – when you first opened, I got in here at the $0.25. Cent. I bought a little bit more at $0.50, cent, and now it's sold out. It's now a dollar per token. Um, but what's good about this one and, and what I'll show you here on my uh, scoring system, it's out of 37. So I am invested in it. And it's kind of, this is where my scoring system needs to be tweaked a little bit further. It's below the 50% mark, but it hasn't shown its true colors yet. The community is over 100 in, in, tele, in the uh, Telegram. The daily ROI is right where you'd want it to be. It's very unique. I mean, it, between the games, the payout systems, I mean, there's so many different ways to earn passive income. The developer on this is just incredible. Um, he has been very vigilant, very... Um, uh, diligent in the telegram keeping everybody up to date he's working on this poker um this uh whatever you want to call it this uh texas hold'em whatever it is for it i mean it's gonna be it's going to be epic as soon as it starts picking up more steam that i'm still in 
The other one that I'm not in anymore, well, technically I am because I still have my keys. Um, this one, it almost felt as though this was going to be a scam out. But basically what happens in the developers, again, if you go into the te telegram of this one, uh, Tron keys, the essence was you buy keys, there's a FOMO timer, the timer's over here, you want a jackpot if you're the last one to buy, and then the keys, you get dividends that other people bought behind you. Absolutely genius game. Something went astray in the in the programming, it sounds like, when you talk to the developers, it basically too many keys were being produced. It was saturated. It, it, it was so big that it saturated the amount of keys that were available, um, thus lowering the dividends for everybody that was not sustainable. Um, so they, they've been very open and honest in the Telegram. Uh, they have other things that they're working on. They, have, they just posted this update saying that they're working on some stuff. they got new games coming out that are actually going to allow you to use your keys in order to play these games. Um, so I still have faith on this one. Um, it is, uh, it's about a 41. Uh, oh no, that's not mine. It's, uh, I didn't rate this one yet. I'll have to put a rating on it. Um, so I still have hope for this one. I, I'm not putting any more into it, um, but I do have 450, I have nine keys. It's not a whole lot. Just because, again, I was a little scared to jump into this one. It was more for the fun of it. Um, the other one that I'm waiting for to kind of blow up, and this one is very, very unique, and it's actually on the ETH exchange and Tron exchange. And the developer on this, he's still in the process of working things. There, there is a way to get onto this on the testnet to try it. And what this is, and the reason I like it, is you can bet on sports using the token of this site. Um, and so at the moment, uh, you can actually bet. It's almost like a... Um, it's almost like a uh, fantasy, uh, I guess, for lack of a better word, um, that you can pick these players, and if you buy these players, and then they're the top scorers, you get the jackpot, and this kind of stuff. Uh, not a whole lot of backing on this yet, but there's some more stuff coming. There's going to be a ton of more betting and availability on here, which is going to be um, just absolutely incredible. Once this thing, it, it just isn't getting a lot of drive yet. It is on the Tron Exchange also, as well as ETH. I think he's doing the majority of the, the building on ETH at the moment, but he'll convert it over to the, to the Tron Exchange. Um, but this is exactly what these dApps should be. We keep jumping into these ROIs and things of that nature, but in reality, you need a dApp that allows you to get dividends from people playing it, but people need to want to play it. Not this ride a contract till it hits to a point and the moment it starts dipping, everybody sells and you hope you're the first one in, last one out. It, you know, th those, those gotta be a thing of the past. You need sites that are trying to use the tokens or use something different. This, I think, I mean, what, what, you can't get better. You got sports and you got blockchain. Mixing together, you get dividends from You get to bet and play against other people. So I'm really hope, keeping my hopes up for this one. Um, skill and development. Uh, I am invested into it both on the ETH and the Tron Exchange. Um, we will see how it plays out. Um, next one is also on the ETH Exchange. Now, this one, um, I've been watching this for a while. This actually, the developer of this one, was around during the ETH DAP wars or whatever you want to call it. Very, very loyal, very, very uh, consistent. He has a vision. He is working towards that vision. This thing has been a work in progress for a while, uh, and it's actually finally active. You can actually go to this uh, HyperETH exchange now and purchase these uh, HyperETH tokens with Ethereum. Um, there is games in, in process. Right now there's a Hyperlotto, Hyperspace, and Hyperthought. Um, you can actually play the hyper shot at the moment. It's not active to the point where you can, it's basically a player versus player. You're a spaceship and fly around, you got to blow up the other player, and you could bet um, uh, tokens and things like that. So uh, this one has a lot of good potential. I know it's on the ETH blockchain, but let me tell you the difference. Everything on this happens on the user interface, happens on the web, so you're not waiting for the Ethereum network. That was one of the big problems with the Ethereum network was having to wait for the transactions and things. Well, this one, you have to go through Ethereum so the transaction does take a moment, but all the gameplay happens on the user interface. Um, the, the games are really fun. The hyper shot, um, you fly around and blow people up. Uh, I'm sorry, the hyperspace you do, the hyper shot is almost like a pong. And so you're, you play against somebody else with pong trying to score on them, like like air hockey, basically. Uh, you can bet um, Ethereum or tokens and things of that nature and win. So again, this one, it, it's the community is small. It needs some time to mature, and as it matures, it's going to be pretty dang epic. Um, and then the two big dogs that I'm still currently in, one of them is Bankroll. Now again, this is another one of those ROI type things. 
but it ranks, uh, in fact, I haven't updated this yet. Um, maybe we are, uh, we're increased there. The ROI stays the same. It is definitely unique. YouTube, it's blowing up at this point. It is on that. That's good. And this is, I'll have to double check that. So this is sitting at about an 87%. It's on track, you guys, if, you, if anybody's been following my channel, this is the first time it's dipped in a little bit, but he's working on the bank luck. Um, it hasn't come out yet. The bank luck funds the ROI contract, sustaining it even further. Plus, I mean, let's just call it what it is. He's going to be able to create other things that go into this bankroll also. So this one I see is kind of a long-term. Again, this is a developer who is here. He has a vision. He's not here for a cash grab. He's not here like 333. He's not here to exit. I mean, if he could have exited, he could have exited when we were hitting 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100 million. Um, but he didn't. He, he's dedicated. He has a vision. He's pushing towards it. He's working on Bank Look. The Bank Look had a preview. You can actually um, check it out uh, by going on there. Uh, and, and there's a couple of videos out about it, too, and, and kind of how automatic and, and how responsive it is. And it's one of those pick below a certain number type games. But it feeds, there's a lot of cool features about it. It feeds your credits if you lose. If you lose, the person who bets behind you gets a percentage. Meaning if I bet and I win, and the guy ahead of me, say he bet 10,000 drawn and he loses, I get 1% of that 10,000 to me, um, which is just, I mean, it's win-win. Then if I lose, the percentage of what I lost goes into my credits that I start earning 3.33% on. Um, on top of that, the majority of all the losses goes into the contract itself feeding this daily ROI. Now, in true blockchain fashion, people are getting impatient. I personally say let him get it fixed to where it works properly. We've seen things happen that when they don't work properly, lose steam. And I'm not trying to bag on Tron Keys here. Tron Keys is because the developer, they admitted it. They said, hey, listen, there's an error. We're getting saturated, and they're going to try and correct it. But let Bank Teller think and let him get this done right, okay? And last but not least, the other one that I'm in, and this one is The Sleeper, and there's not a lot of videos out on it, um, but I think everybody really needs to come and check this out. And here's the reason why. The developer on this was the developer who created all the backup sites for different sites and things. He's, he's already been familiar with the blockchain space. He's here for the community. The Telegram at the moment has got about 300, just over 300 in it, um, this dipped earlier um, in it. This, pay, this token, so this is a this is a this your typical token in daily ROI. But let me tell the unique features about this here. One is you obviously buy the tokens. The tokens feed you dividends from other people buying and selling around you. You can also do your referral um, down here. I'll put that in the, in the description down below. Um, you click on the referral and you get dividends from referrals as well. You can cash it out, redeposit it. Very typical. Same as always. Then he has the daily, uh, this is the 2%. So now this is going to be lower than some of the other ones. 2%, people are so used to these 33% and these 5% and 6% and 20%. So 2% is very, very small. But let me tell you the significant difference on this one. Two things. One is you get 2% every day of what you have deposited. Okay. Secondly, all the other ROIs, you can't take anything out. On this one, you can. So every 23 hours, you have this button right here, withdrawal plus 2%. So as my dividends develop, I can click withdrawal and take this out, or I can click withdrawal plus 2%, and I get this plus 2% of what I have in there. Now, granted, since this decreases, your daily percentage is going to decrease, but I'll be another ROI that lets you take out your initial investment over time. Okay, there isn't one flat out. I'm just going to, I'm going to, I'm going to be, I'm going to ruin the book for you. There's not one out there. Secondly, in order to get into this, you have to purchase tokens. So the only way you're allowed to put into this daily ROI um, is if you buy tokens. And once you hold tokens, you can go into the daily. Ingenious. Daily feeds ROI. ROI feeds, I'm sorry, the daily feeds the token. Token feeds the daily. On top of that, you need to buy tokens in order to get into the daily. Here's another thing. Not an R, another ROI really can't say this. The amount, this has gone up since I've started getting into it. At this moment, it's over 100% more in deposits than what's in there currently, meaning if nothing else goes into this at the current rate, if nobody else deposits, everybody who's deposited will get their money back plus some. And you think, how is that possible? There's no way it's possible. Yeah. 
this, and here's why. Yet another unique feature about this. If you come on here and you buy your tokens, you do your daily ROI, some of what you buy goes into there just like everything else. Here is where some more of the genius comes in. If you're a YouTuber, if you just like videos, music, who cares what it is, you can buy this spot, 1100 Tron. If you buy this spot, your video goes here. People watch it, they can click it, they can link it, the whole thing. This 1100 goes directly to this daily, right here. So you can hear there's four spots. 1100, if you want to buy that spot, boom, you put your video there. That 1100 goes right into the daily. 100%. Doesn't go to, well, no, I lie. I think these go, some of this goes to the token holders, and then some of it goes to the ROI. Uh, where it's at here. The cost of the ad goes to feed the daily contract 50%, and, and then 50% to the token holders. So this is feeding into both of those. Another cool thing. You're tired of not getting referrals. You're tired of jumping into these things. We all know that if in order to get your, your percentage back on these bad boys, it doesn't matter how early you get in and how late you get out, you typically don't get your ROI. Why? Because you need referrals. So what does this do? You come down here, you're in Tron Vegas, you got 120 TRX, buy this. When you buy this, you let it lets you put your referral link in here. So anybody who clicks on this on this site uses your referral link. Same thing. So if you're in Bankroll, you want to buy 300 put $300 in, you buy this, your referral link is behind this click right here. People are using referral if they click it. This 300 goes into the daily. 310 daily. And this goes up every time. So the more popular something is, so for instance, if you buy this, it goes up by another 10. The person behind you needs to buy it for 310. Now it sucks if it gets bought out because you didn't get, maybe you got referrals, maybe you didn't, but it goes into the daily, feeding you 2% every day. No other site out there does this. I have been trying to tell people in the Telegram channels, and they're probably getting tired of me doing it. Tron Pays is different. This I haven't even got into the developer. The developer is incredible. The community in Telegram is incredible. There's some big names in there that you guys will probably recognize if you're jumping around into all these different games and stuff. This thing, in my opinion, is a sleeper. As word gets out, this thing can blow up. It, I, I don't know how else to say it. I'll try and do a video dedicated to this specifically just so you guys can see, but if you haven't checked it out yet, you need to. I would say get, just if anything, click the link. I'll put my referral down below. Don't even have to click it. You can jump into the Telegram. I'll put the Telegram link below, but you got to check it out. So that, <clears throat> that, my friends, is the state of the dApps of myself. Um, Tron Topia, we're still waiting on. I'm not convinced. I'm probably not going into it. Tron 888, mm, not my thing. 333, 333, these are uh, I'm basically out of these. I'm not even going to follow them anymore, to be honest with you. I just, they piss off the community. Um, Bankroll, still my epic. Tron Orca, I've just been following it. It's still hanging in there, but just it, it's it's almost like a black pole. It's kind of circling amongst itself. Ace Casino, I'm going to update all that. Sports, we talked about high Tron Tronbet, still going strong. It's just not my thing. P2T, P3T is not a scam. Uh, they they kind of got a bad rap with the way that their ROI. The funny part is everybody got mad at P3T because their ROI dropped. But what's happened to every other single ROI that everybody else has gotten into? <laughs> Imagine if all that money that you guys were putting into everything else went into the P3T ROI. It would have sustained at least a little bit longer. Um, so they got a bad rap. They're working on it. It's, the community is too big. Developers are too committed. This thing this thing is going to hang on. Um, I'm personally, I got out of it because, again, I didn't learn my lesson and I sold when I shouldn't have, which I wish I didn't, but here we are. All right, guys, that is, uh, that's about all I got. Um, subscribe if you haven't yet. Like the video. Drop a comment what you liked, what you didn't like. Let's open dialogue. Um, I'll put links to all these things that I'm in in the description. Feel free to click them. I'd appreciate it if you did. If you don't, no big deal. But at least go check them out, especially the Tron Pays and the Bankroll, I think are going to be really epic. I breathe especially this one the the uh, the community um, it it it's working it's working its way up uh, as well as this uh, sports 3D so all right guys everybody have a good night I appreciate you tuning in sorry for the uh, video was a little bit longer than usual.